this is 6.5, and we have a 4 microfarad capacitor, 4 microfarad, and we're, we're supposed to find the current waveform, the current waveform, which is the current, the current. We want to find the current here. Now, we find that, or we know, we know the current is equal to the capacitance times dv dt. And we are given the voltage time graph. This is in milliseconds. This is milliseconds. This is 10 to the negative third milliseconds. So we need to find this value here, the derivative of the voltage with respect to time with respect to time. The derivative of a voltage with respect to time. So let's, I'm gonna just make a quick chart here. So we have the start and the end because we're gonna break this into pieces. So we're gonna call like this one here, here two, this whole portion two, and then this portion three, okay? We're gonna have a start and end, and that is the time. This is the time, so that is gonna be in milliseconds. Milliseconds, so in milliseconds, that is the time. And then we're gonna have dv dt. dv dt here. And then last, the last column we're gonna have is c times dv dt, right? So we're gonna multiply the four micro, um, micro farad capacitor times our uh, derivative here. Okay. So for the first portion, number one, it's from zero to two, zero to two milliseconds. And the derivative here, it goes to 10 volts. So 10 divided by two, 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And remember that this is actually a, this is 10 divided by, since this is in milliseconds, 0 0.002, okay, because it's in milliseconds here. And then if we multiply that to here, so, and then we multiply it by four micro times 10 to the six, we have point zero two, and that is our current, this is our current in amps, in amps. So at, let's do two, and that's from this point here to this point here. So we go from two milliseconds to six milliseconds, and so that is a total of four milliseconds here, and we go from 10 down to negative 10. So that is negative 20, negative 20 down divided by our uh, four, I guess this is four milliseconds, four milliseconds, four milliseconds, 0 0.004 milliseconds. Okay, and here we get negative 0 0.02, for this value, which is our current, our current. And for step three, we go from six to eight, six to eight, and that is a positive, a positive 10, positive 10 over 0 0.002. And again, that comes out to 0 0.02 here. 
So what does, what does the waveform mean? The waveform. We want the waveform. So we, the waveform, something like this. So let's plot this. And we're going to have our time in milliseconds here. And then we're going to have our current in, I guess we could do it in milliamps milliamps so this is equal to 20 milliamps 20 milliamps so we go from 20 here and that goes from 0 to 2 and then 2 to 6 uh, I'm gonna run out of room let's let me erase here Let's maybe put it here. So this is two. This would be four. This would be six. And I think eight would be over here. Okay. Let me grab a different color. So from zero to two, we have positive 20. Okay, so positive 20. And then we go to negative 20. So negative 20 is here, I think. Somewhere around here. Negative 20. And let's get back the different color. So negative 20, and that goes to 6, and then we have positive from, from here to here, positive 20. Oh. Okay, so let's draw these here. And so this is what our waveform looks like. This is our waveform for the current given the voltage. We're given the voltage and we have found the current.